Um, this is the Wesson Tomato Press. Uh, it is a pretty efficient hand uh, operated tool and um, it's pretty simple to put together, but there is a couple techniques that make it easier and uh, more efficient and a couple things to pay attention to. Um, one of the first things is this, this um, spring it goes on to this little shaft right there that you can see. It just sets in there. There's nothing, nothing to hold or anything at this moment. It just sets right there. Um, the next thing is this um, the spiral. This is the thing. This is what presses out the takes the thing into the hopper and presses out all of the juice and uh, meat of the tomato. And so this goes on over top of that shaft, and you sort of kind of I hold it like this to be able to keep that in place while I'm getting this next thing ready. Um, this little gasket right here is an important piece um, and it goes on the back side. Otherwise it leaks out of the, uh, the juice leaks out of right here and makes a mess. So you gotta remember to put that on there because it, it, it will be a hassle. Um, this has some, some spots that sit in grooves right here and it has a set screw. So you slide this over just to get a hold of that push this cone in, the sieve in, and rotate it up. And then that holds that in place. You tighten up the set screw like that. Then the, the handle, it just has two little, two little um, grooves in the thing. And um, it just slides in. You can just rotate it until you feel it slide and slot, and it just pops in. Um, the next thing is this kind of extender. This is the end is where all of the stuff you don't want, all the seeds, all the um, all the skin and all that, the undesirables as my dad would call it, um, comes out the end and dumps over into the sink. So this snaps on the end of the sieve like this. And this shield that kind of keeps everything going, keeps it from splattering, all this kind of stuff, slips over top of both of these edges like this. So you see it pops in just like that. And this allows you to adjust the angle of where it goes into the bowl. Um, which there's two bowls. Let me go ahead and set this out of the way. Um, this uses two two bowls to be able to uh, operate. You want to catch. Here's where you're catching your um, uh, sauce, your juice, and um, it snaps down to the counter with just suction. Sometimes it's helpful if you don't have a really um, like granite or something like that, you might have to put down, uh, put some water down to get it um, where it will suck down to it. But you just push that down and it's nice and stable. So that goes underneath. This is the hopper. This is where the tomatoes go. Um, this just drops down in there. And this is the little plunger piece that goes down to push everything down into the hopper. So as you it operates, you just crank it. Um, push down. You can either do it yourself or you can have a, a helper putting tomatoes in the top and pushing it down while you're cranking and the juice and things come out here and the extra stuff comes out the end and that's pretty much all there is to it. It comes apart the same way, washes up pretty easy and uh, yeah, that's how Weston goes together. If you got any questions, just throw them in the comments.